human family and the animal, the beast, all that didn't go into the ark was in the water. Flesh is earth. Noah, his household, and the beasts that went into the ark, they were out of the water because they are earth. So the earth that was living was them that was in the ark. That's when earth was out of the water. The earth that perished, which ceased to live, that's when earth was in the water. Are you listening? What is it? Whereby the world that then was. The world that, that then was. Being overflowed with water perished. Being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now. But the heavens and the earth which are now. By the same by word. By that same word. Are kept in store. Are kept in store. Reserved, reserved unto, unto fire. What? Reserved unto fire. He ain't going to destroy the world with the flood no more. Reserved unto fire. What? Against the day of judgment. He didn't say it won't be no more floods. But the whole earth won't be destroyed with water no more. That's right. Something worse is coming. Reserved unto fire. Against Notice the language of the scriptures. It says by the same word. But the heavens and the earth which are now. What? By the same word. Holy. Noah preached along with Methuselah. God gave man 120 years to get himself right. Man wouldn't do it. So here you had a message given to the servants of the Lord that they may have clear time to prepare themselves to escape the judgment of God. As it was in Noah's day, so shall it be when the Son of Man come. God is sending men and he's given the men that he sends the same, same message. That's right. Warning the world. That same word. Same word. Did you hear what he said? But the heavens and the earth which are now. Which are now. By the same word. By the same. Hallelujah. By the same word. Are kept in store. Are kept in store. Reserved. The word of the Lord got heaven and earth in reserve. Reserved. For fire. Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Do you hear this? But beloved, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Now, viewers, and you that are here, let's go back to Moses in Exodus. Back in Exodus chapter 2. I want to get all of that and show you one. a clearer picture of the stage of the whole religious world. That's right. Listen good. Back in Exodus chapter 32 and verse 1. All right. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount. Yes. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. And what? And said unto him, up, make us gods which shall go before uh, us. Aaron, Moses is taking too long. Notice, they went to his kin. That's right. That's what you do, Bishop. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, make good. Go ahead. You that are here, have you ever been in a church that had some solid standards? And the father was about to die, the old bishop. And besides trying to see who's qualified, his focus was leave the church to his children. So old man Bishop died. That's right. And the son took over. And when the son took over, now you can't even recognize the place to even be called a church. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. You bishops that do this, you're more focused on keeping your name as a legacy. And where you should be focused on the people's souls being saved. Many have come to me, Pastor Jennings, which one of your sons is going to take over after you? None. <laughs> That's right. None, I said. That's right. 
That's right. This is not the church of Jennings. That's right. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You sit around and wait on none of my sons. <laughs> That's right. If any of my sons wanted to minister, they would have to go through the same process. Amen. Go before the evaluation board. What my son like telling them, I'm Pastor Jenny's son. I wouldn't care if you Gabriel's first cousin, if possible. Amen. And I would expect that evaluation team to be just as vigorous and brutal don't look at his name that's right that's right but my son up as a preacher ain't no favor to the church that's right it is qualification that helps the church that's where you preachers fail and many of you that are watching you don't even recognize the church you're in it used to be apostolic. Now, you don't know what it is. Hmm. You don't baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you claim you got the Holy Ghost without speaking in tongues. Now the women preachers are taking over the churches. Your bishop that died used to didn't ordain women, but his no good, rotten, spoiled brat son <laughs> done now ordained his wife. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So Israel changed. That's right. At the absence of Moses. Not that Moses was dead. Hear this. And if you need That's right. the minister or overseer to always be in your presence just to do right you ought to go to hell that's right flesh die but the word abideth forever and you should not need a minister standing in front of you just for you to live right. For be before he came in the ministry, the word was here. If you need Pastor Jennings to be in your temple for you to obey the scriptures, you are looking at me too much and you are an exalted me too high. That's right. If you have the mentality, I ain't coming to church until Pastor Jen has come here. You are lost. I'm not your God. You're supposed to be waiting for the coming of the Christ. And I am not he. Our job as ministers is to point you, point you to Christ. And the word of God brings you to him. I'm going to lay out of the church till Pastor Jen has come. All you doing is acting out what will happen if I die. Then that means you ain't coming at all. If you think that's giving me support, that's right. You're thinking wrong. Amen. Because I can't stop preaching and stop going if I don't see you. So when did you get the luxury that you can say, I ain't going to church? The pastor Jennings get here. This is about your relationship with you and God. Talk 
back to me. Yes, sir. That's right. What happened here? And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount. When people saw that Moses delayed, delayed to come down out of the mount. In their mind, he should have been back. Yeah. They had no idea. Glory to God, what great work the Lord was performing for Moses for the betterment of the people. That's right. Listen. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. Wait a minute. They got somebody less qualified. That's right. And the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, get up. Make us gods which shall go before us. We want you to do what Moses won't. For as for this Moses. For this Moses. The man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt. Oh, we give honor, you know, he brought us out of bondage. But this is how we feel about him. We want not what has become of him. We don't know what happened to him and we don't care. That's right. That's right. Mm. That's exactly the way some of you preachers are. Been taught the truth. Amen. But make it up in your mind, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's right. That's exactly the way some folk that come to church today. That's right. Many of you repented, was baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and got baptized because you found out your baptism was wrong. You ain't got baptized, came out the water, went straight back to falsehood. And when you go to hell, it'll be just like you never obeyed baptism. That's right. Glory to God. For as for this Moses. As for this Moses. The man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt. That brought us out of bondage. We want not what has become of him. We don't know what happened to him. And Aaron said unto them. What did Aaron say? Break off the golden earrings. Oh, now. If the people didn't know what was in Aaron, they would never went to him. That's true. Notice. That's true. They ain't come to Joshua with that stuff. No. <laughs> Brothers, take this under consideration. When people in your temples can pull you aside and dog and run down your other fellow minister and you don't retaliate and put them in check, ask yourself, what are you showing them that make them see, oh, I can come to him and dog Jones. I can come to him and dog Robinson. I can come to him and dog Lodge. That's what right. is it about you? You have gotten too close to that brother or to that sister. That's right. That's right. There should not be an Aaron among you. That's right. There will always be errands, but I refuse to be one. Amen. Because if I betrayed you, I betrayed Jesus. For Jesus said what you do to my least ones, you do unto me. Are you listening? The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. The people gathered themselves unto Aaron. And said unto him, up, oh, make us God. Hold it. This is what the people do today. They pull Aaron aside. Look, man, why don't you start your own church? That's right. I'm with you. I got your back. Pastor Jennings and the others, just holding you back. That's you right. got the anointing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you shaking and he's gone. That's right. So your friends put you in the pulpit. Right then, doomed for failure. Doomed. That's right. That's right. Because of you up here, because of friends, and not by biblical permission, you going to have to always in your ministry cater and please your friends. 
That's right. And the moment you preach something that they don't like, they gonna jump on you. And if they know anything personal about you, and you don't confine it in them, they gonna blackmail you. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. It is good. The people gather themselves together unto Aaron. Many of you preachers are watching now. You know better. But there are things you will not preach against because the members in your congregation is in blackmail position. You should never got to issue out money to keep somebody quiet. Nobody, nowhere. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Because once you start issuing out money to keep him quiet or her quiet, that means they are in control. And when they are in control, that means they are in control of your so-called sermons. That's right. Why well, are you listening to the old man? The people gather themselves the together unto Aaron. Gather themselves unto Aaron. Unto Aaron. And said unto him, Up. Get up. Make us gods which shall go before us. Now we know Moses declared, We know it's one God. Because it was said to us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. But we're dissatisfied with that one God teaching now. That's right. We want something else. Up, make us gods. And we know you just like us. That's right. That's right. We ain't going to Joshua. He's somewhere at the foot of the mountain waiting for Moses to come back. You know, he's just too spiritual for us. <laughs> That's right. He still believes Moses is going to come back. He's just too spiritual. But Aaron. Aaron. You got the same spirit we have. Yeah. You're double-minded like us. Even though you are priests. You bear in mind, Aaron was the high priest. And his sons were priests under him. Ithamar, Eleazar, Nadab, and Abihu. Their very priestly garments was designed by the Lord himself. The priest gave attendance at the altar. Are you listening? So they didn't come to Aaron because they didn't see what's in him. That's right. They saw the vulnerability that was in him and he was a people pleaser. That's right. Moses was strict. Moses firm. Moses, Jehovah this, Jehovah that. I am that I am. God this. Oh man, he was all about God. That's right. Aaron, more laid back. More people pleaser. Full of wickedness. Yeah. And he was not loyal. That's right. He betrayed his overseer. He betrayed his blood brother. And more importantly, he betrayed God. Amen. Amen. Listen. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. Wait a minute. Make us what? Make us gods. Tell that. G O D S. That's what happened to many of you out there who've been taught there's one God. You went and got some scrub. <laughs> That's right. You went and got a smurf. That's right. And made Papa Smurf some old homemade preacher. That's right. And now these smurfs has made gods, gods. plural for you. That's right. Who've been taught there was one. How many is denouncing the one true living God for people? That's true. I wouldn't denounce. Hallelujah. There was one God if he was going to put me in an electric chair. No. You can take the voltage and connect it to the voltage of the third rail <laughs> of a railway. <laughs> Let me fry believing in one God. That's right. And if it's God will that I feel the pain and I'm hollering, let me be hollering. What? Just shaking. What? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let me shake it out. Paul the evil. Why? Just shake it out. Hallelujah. Being a child of God is way beyond coming to worship. He demands loyalty, commitment. He's against it. He abhor betrayal. Betrayal. Listen. The people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. And what? And said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before make us. Make us gods to go before us. For as for this Moses, for this Moses, the man that brought us out of, up out of, the land of Egypt, us out the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. My viewers, did you have a preacher, by God's permission, preach enough? To make you consider to turn your ways and preach you out of sin. And now the one that did that is dead. And now look at your church. It looks like a club, a disco joint. <laughs> half naked women, half naked men. You don't know who is the man or who is the woman. You That's up right. on choir rehearsal, the women come to choir rehearsal with pants. And shorts and halters. Amen. Men right. come to choir rehearsal, pants hanging down, showing his drawers. Amen. In choir rehearsal with a hat on, a man Amen. up there practicing in a choir with all these long dreadlocks and got your hair looking like buckwheat. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Because Israel. Out of control, wicked. God saw commandments to be a necessity. That's right. These commandments wasn't written to decorate stone. They were written that the people conduct may be put in order. Yeah. Hear this. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, what is it? We want not we what has become of what him. What happened to him? And Aaron said unto them, Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings. Oh, you select me? Oh, I know how to get you in hell. <laughs> I know how to make you sin. That's right. I know how to make you rebel. Yeah. Get you, you want a God? Okay. Break off the golden get, earrings. Take your earrings off. Which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters. Yeah. And bring them unto me. Bring me your jewelry. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears. And, and brought them unto Aaron. Brought them to Aaron. And he received them at their hand. And, and fashioned it with a graving tool. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. Now let us bear in mind, Aaron was Moses' brother. Brother. And all of this was in Aaron. Yeah. The whole time he was with Moses. That's right. All it took was the right time. The right thing had to happen. That's right. So what was lying in Aaron to come to surface? That's right. What of God said out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. What's done? Hear me good. In the dark, it had come to the light. Come to the light. Hear this. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears. And what? And brought them unto Aaron. And? And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. After he made the molten calf. And they molten is when a metal is melted. Right. Or a natural sweet sauce like iron or gold is melted. melted. A molten calf. You get a mold like a calf. You pour that solution in there. And then that thing come out. Hardened, dry out, hardened. Then you get the calf that you want or the idol that you want. That's right. Idolatry is a sin. Oh, yes. We don't have a God that's set on our mantelpiece. No. And our God ain't on no picture. No. And our God is not on no cross either. That's right. The Son of Man was on the cross. That's right. But he'd been off that cross. Died, hallelujah, rose the third day. Stayed around for a little bit longer. Amen. Giving the apostles some more information and different ones saw him. Thank God until Paul concluded, last of all, he was seen of me as one born out in due time. 
right. at the appointed time he ascended above all heavens. Yeah. Bible said how he disappeared within the clouds. Right. All right. And he received him at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. Yes. After he had made it a molten calf. Yes. And they said, these be thy gods, O Israel. Be thine what? These be thy gods. These be your gods. O Israel. O Israel. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Hold it. Mm. Now, you got a fake God. So if you got a fake God, you got to boost it with a lie. That's right. They made a fake God and they gave the fake God credit because they was already out of Egypt. That's right. Think of it. They made the calf after they came out of Egypt. And then Aaron said, These be thy gods, these O Israel. These be thy gods, of Israel. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Now, this is what I want you to consider. How could they be so blind and not even think? We're out of Egypt. The calf was made after we got out. So where was the calf at to bring us out? That's right. They just took what Aaron said and ran with it. That's it. Well, what happened to them? All that say they're Israel is not Israel. Some say, I'm in the truth. Wonderful. What is the truth in you? Because if it's not in you and you're not steadfast, steadfast in what's supposed to be in you, the same thing he's reading will happen to you. That's right. That's right. It starts off by someone giving you wrong biblical information. And by you not paying attention to the right information, you'll respond to the wrong information is, amen. That's right. Amen. And then you get in some spirit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Amen. When the word of God get in you, it's a seed. For Jesus taught us the seed is the word. The word. And any seed that's planted in dirt, it takes time for it to be rooted. It can have roots, but not rooted. That's two different things. If you put a seed, and the seed is not quick enough except it die. When that tender green stalk come up, it come up as a result of something going down. There's roots under that tender stalk, but the plant is not rooted. rooted. You can go right out there and grab the stalk and put it up. Yeah. But that good old tree is rooted. It's rooted. It's rooted so much it'll mess up the pipes in the ground of your house. That's right. You just can't grab that and pull that up. No. So because you have roots, that ain't good enough. No. It takes time to become rooted. rooted. When you're rooted, you can be exposed to any type of teaching. And you come out holy in, holy out, because you become immune. Your spiritual immune system is so good you won't come down with fossilitis. That's right. You won't come down with it. That's right. Fossilitis. Fossilitis is a bad bacteria. You get in your mind and get in your heart. It makes you happy over a lie. Hmm. All of us had some time in our life fossilitis. Oh yes. I had it for a while, Pastor. <laughs> Let's get some Bible in the book of Isaiah, Williams. You bet. Let's see what the people hide under. That's right. I believe That's the 28th right. chapter, if I'm correct. 
or 14th chapter, on the falsehood. Yes. Has we hid ourselves. In we the book made, of Isaiah. All right. Isaiah chapter 28, and we'll start at verse 15. Yes. Because ye have said, because we, ye have said we have made a covenant have made with a death. Covenant with death. And with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? Are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It what? It shall not come unto us. How bad are they? For we have made lies our refuge. We have hid under lies. We cover ourselves with lies. And under falsehood. And under falsehood. Have we hid ourselves? We hid ourselves under falsehood. That's right. Amen. And you break out with falsolitis. <laughs> That's right. A germ that you catch over falsehood is a bad spirit yeah. where you would agree with a lie oh, yeah. and fight the truth bitterly. bitterly. And you know what makes you fight the truth in most cases? Lack of understanding. That's right. It is written, they speak evil of the thing that they understand not. That's right. That's right. That's why I got many of you out there fighting yeah. over and over because falsehood took you over. Took you over. And you are just saturated with lies. Oh, yeah. And the jackhammer of the scripture got to pound through that hard head. Oh, yeah. They get one God in you. Amen. And then when you fight one God after you used to believe it, now you go in it so long until the Lord step in. That's right. And give you what he call strong delusion. Strong delusion. You know what that means? He give you permission to believe a lie. That's right. And when God gives you permission to believe a lie, he give it for a reason. He's, the, he, he's done with you. Let's get right. some Bible. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and we'll start at verse 9. Yeah, man. Even him who's coming after the working Even of Satan. Even him was, who's coming was after the work of the devil. With all power and with signs. all power and, and signs. And, and lying and, wonders. Ah, you got the wonders of heaven and you got lying wonders. Lying wonders. It's still a wonder. But it's not a one that I sanctioned by God. That's right. It's the power of the devil working to make you believe it's the power of God. It's a lying wonder. Lying wonders. Uh -huh. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. Listen. In them that perish. What? Because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. So you can be saved. And for this cause. For this reason. God shall send them strong delusion. Wait a minute. Who's going to bring the delusion? God shall send them strong delusion. And what is the reason why God will allow them to be victims of this delusion? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might Holy. be saved. Because you're in something, that's not good enough to God. That's right. You got to love, love. what you're in. That's right. <laughs> 